What's up, YouTube? Tim R2 here. Yeah, I want to wait a few days, man, let, let the new wear off of it. So I'm freaking out, got over with. And uh, this new comet that came up showed up, I think they discovered it September 21st. And uh, we'll take a look at it here on J, J, JPL. And, and we'll see. Zoom, in, zoom out a little where we can see it. And see that it, it, it's, uh, it was discovered out past Jupiter. And yes, this is a this is a prime candidate for the discharge that we saw a few days after they or before they discovered it. Not saying that it is, but it is a candidate for that. Depends on the uh, potential difference that this object has from the sun, and of course the whole solar system's potential is pretty much equalized and stays at a normal equal rate. And any object that comes into that with a, a potential difference of charge will react to all the planets pretty much including the sun and I want to remind everybody that at no time at any time is the earth in any danger we'll run this and zoom on in as you see it comes by Jupiter first and of course we've already seen some reaction if that's what it caused it and we'll see here that in next year in early October that it's going to come very close to Mars October 3rd, I think, is its closest approach to Mars. So if there is any discharge of the capacitor, it will happen on or before that date with Mars. And uh, so this could be a difference in how bright the comet itself gets and, and, and everything else, because the more potential that's discharged, the, the less reaction it'll have with the sun. And again, you can see that Earth is nowhere near closer to the, the object than Mars is. So path of least resistance, you know, the closest object will be the one to take the brunt of the storm, so to speak. And again, if we let it run, you'll see that Mercury gets closer and uh, and then it goes right on up to the sun. And at no time, we'll back it right on up, is Earth anywhere in the tail path or in the uh, path of, in front of comet and the reaction that the sun has to it we won't be it won't be directed directly at us or, or, or hopefully it won't we may get some CME activity you know because we all know as we've been watching the sun reacts heavily to objects that come close to it which is part that's denied by NASA and at any rate we'll take a look at uh, mainstream news of course they're going to try to make it as frightening as possible a uh, comet shines 15 times brighter than the moon. Some of them say it could be half the brightest the sun. Others say that it'll be visible in the daytime. And, of course, it's all just going to be a visual. So, and, and, of course, another thing, it's a whole year out. And we don't have too much to worry about until then. I want to point out the fact that here on Space.com, which is an official... Uh, NASA mouthpiece. This was, you know, again, this was discovered by Russian amateur astronomers and uh, or Russian astronomers. I'm not sure if they're amateur or not. They may be professionals. No telling. And again, it's been put out around the world that this will be here, and and, and the pros and cons. I'm gonna show you everything I can. There's a Planetary Society website that shows a 30% chance of awesome and a 60% chance of being wrong. That's quite a good read here. And if you want to plot it on a map, they got a plot for, you know, where to look for in the sky. And, and of course, what the easy, you know, if you want to keep up with it on, on YouTube, my suggestion will be to go to T-Bar 84's channel. It proved his worth there in Comet Ellen. And, should we, you know, we should have listened to him rather than the mainstream news. They just want to frighten everybody, and uh, he, he, he debunks quite a bit of things. But he's got it real. He understands that there, there's definitely something in the solar system, and and that we're going through changes. But that, that we want to make sure that you know everybody understands that it's you know not all that it's been made out to be and not nearly as frightening as it as it's being made out to be. And I think that might be T Bar's point. To curb some of the uh the fear associated with this and it does a fine job of doing that. And if you want to go to uh Stellarium and check it out, we'll do that. I got this loaded here and I'll just start from the beginning when you turn Stellarium on. 
I just go and find my location to South Georgia and it'll be in the eastern sky and uh, come down here to configuration window now what you have to do here if I go too fast you just kind of rewind it pause start with plugins solar system editor configure solar system import orbital elements from MPC format you want to highlight comets select MPC list of observable comets get elements now if you've already loaded it which I have you can always come here at any time and update the existing object and it'll already be at the top have you not loaded it before it will be in order of date in other words you'll see 2012 is down towards the bottom so you'll have to go down to the bottom to find it but again once you've loaded it into your system you can always click it right here at the top and update it and then just click add object and it's in there and what you have to do now is go to the search window and it is case sensitive space sensitive everything sensitive if you don't type it in exactly like it shows it here with the spaces cap lock everything perfect it won't work so just copy and paste the easiest thing and there it is today September 30th 2012 5, 5 a.m. right on the money and it's a right at 18 magnitude which means it's nowhere near visible to the naked eye 6.5 is, is get close and you still ain't going to see that pretty much without a really really dark sky and uh, we'll take time here and look at uh, where it'll be in a year from now and of course yeah, somewhere around sep September early October next year is a be as close approach to Mars so we'll be able to see that in the morning skies and uh, it helps I hope it helps everybody you know maybe curb the fear no big deal it's going to be quite an object to see though be a nice visual having said that peace and love big heads up